Hi, I'm Aline and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making Georgette's chicken casserole. Mm. Georgette was my sister of the heart and this is a casserole she made for pretty much every get together uh, for the family. And it is just an awesome casserole. And what you need is two to three pounds of bone in with skin chicken which I have right here. Uh, that was about two and three quarter pound. Uh, I've already cooked it. I uh, boiled it and did that for about 30 to 45 minutes until it was done. I was going to need half a cup of milk, one cup eight ounces of sour cream, two cans of cream of chicken soup, any brand you want to use. It can be store brand, it can be name brand, whatever cream of chicken soup you want to use. And if you know how to make cream of chicken soup, want to use your homemade cream of chicken soup, go for it. Now for the topping, you're going to need one pack of round crackers. I call them Ritz style because I use the store brand. If you want to use Ritz crackers, you can use Ritz crackers. And to go with the crackers, you need about a tablespoon of melted butter, and I probably have about a tablespoon and a half or so there. Okay. I'm going to cut my oven on and so preheat it to 350 degrees because this does have to be baked. So give it just a second while I do that. Dum, 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 dum. All right, I have my oven going. And the next thing for me to do is to take the skin and bones off this chicken and then I'm going to take and grate my chicken up in my food processor. So let me get started doing this right here and show you what I'm doing then I'll take a break real quick and get all this done on the chicken and then I'll be right back. Basically all you have to do is just like I said, take the chicken off the bone and just make sure you don't have any skin or bone in it. Where'd you get that pretty apron? So, got this pretty apron from Miss Auntie Mima, who is a wonderful lady and friend of ours. She sent it. I got it in the mail Monday, I think it was. Now I get to have an apron to wear in all my videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a quick pause right here and then finish up this chicken and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And with the happy guinea pig's help, we've got this chicken ready to go into the food processor. Have to get a big guts claws a little greasy. So I'm going to take, put this in here. And if you hear knocking at the door, it's the kitty cats. They Meow. In. They're not getting in. Meow. They want in. You ain't no kitty cats. You might as well stop in. <laughs> I hear enough from them. There we go. Good. Doing the 
grindy, grindy. Oh, yeah. And I can get some of this stirred up in here. Get a little bit of chicken down in there. I probably should have done that in a couple of batches, but that's okay, it'll get done. is talkative today but uh, kind of hard to hear over this thing right here when it's going so I'll be talking here in a little bit though <laughs> not fully chopped up. There'll be enough of it that is that those few little pieces. I'll have to set that aside and chop that up here in a second. All eats the same. Yeah, it all eats the same. It's good stuff. George gets chicken casserole. Oh man. And there's actually another chicken casserole. Georgette's sister, our little sister, Babesy. Little sister. Uh, she does the same chicken casserole, only she puts cheese in hers. And I'll tell you right now, it's hard to decide which one you're going to eat. But they're both delicious. Happy guinea pig, piggy. Yeah, happy guinea pig likes eating this chicken stuff. I'm going to set this over here out of the way. Unplug this and set it over here. If I can get this thing off this counter. It's wanting to just... Happy guinea pig been blessed by a lot of great cooks. <laughs> okay. I'm going to transfer this to this pan here so I can mix it up better. Same. Right, so I said it's going to take half a cup of milk. I got that there. It's going to take eight ounces, one cup of sour cream, and I'll put that in there. Make sure I have a Normally, when I'm making this, I'll just buy an eight ounce container of sour cream, just put the whole container in there. But I already had this sour cream here at the house, and I'm all about making do with what I got. I had it here. So that's what I'm using. Okay. Poor folk learn to improvise. Yeah. I tell you, I grew up. I had to learn to improvise. My mama learned to improvise. Because we may be doing pretty good right now. Uh, I grew up not having a great lot and making do with what you had and being thankful for what you had. Okay. 
You grab me a paper towel, please. Paper towel. Paper towel. Should have had more paper towels on hand. I could use a regular towel, but <laughs> just need that one right there. Thank you. <laughs> Like I said, two cans of cream of chicken soup. Any brand, it don't matter. You know, if you like name brand stuff, you use name brand. If you're like me, and you can afford store brand, then that's what you buy. Hey, we get people like the camera. I can be the invisible man. <laughs> should already had these open, huh? Oh well, that's life. We can do that. Yeah, just watch it be opened here. Okay. And if you're wondering where I'm throwing it, I got a trash can right there. probably going to swap this spatula here for a spoon to make sure I get that stirred up good. So I'll be right back. Might work better if I had everything on hand. But this is real life. I don't have a studio. I honestly say that uh, what you see is what you get. <laughs> this is me. It's called real life. Yeah, that's what I said. It's real life. It's me cooking in my kitchen for us to eat. what that's looking like right there. Mm -hmm. and I set that up in temperature of 350 degrees. And this is going to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes until done. in this casserole dish. This is a 9 by 13 casserole dish. Now, if you like this and you wanted to make it for a big get together for a lot of people, you can always double this. I think when Betsy makes hers, she doubles it or triples it. I'm not sure. But, as like I said, this is a this is a dish that's really popular. A lot of the get-togethers we go to for our family. I have to say, when I first introduced the happy guinea pig to it, <laughs> I made one. Ate almost the whole pan. That he did. I got one serving out of it, and he ate the rest of it. Things have changed since then. And he don't need as much anymore. So we might have enough here. But me eats what me can. Yeah. Alright, now these crackers, you just need to crush them up really well. You can use a food processor, you can use your hands, you can use a rolling pan. Whatever you want to use. I'm just going to put them in my bowl here and crush them up really well. I can never get this little thing right here open. There we go. And like I said, these are just round crackers. Do the Ritz style. If you want to use Ritz crackers, you can. If 
you want to use store brand, which are a little bit cheaper most times, you can. It tastes the same. There might be some things I use name brand on, but that's because it might have been on sale. I don't say you have to use this, you have to use that. You know, your kitchen, your rules. My kitchen, my rules. Use what you got and make do with it. crushed up pretty well. They don't got to be fine. And I'll take this butter, pour it on top of those crackers, set that right there to the side. And I'm just going to use my fingers. Butter. Mix the butter in. Yeah, we like our butter here. Uh -huh. I don't use margarine. I use butter, I use bacon grease and things like that, but this right here is all butter. You just take and you sprinkle them on top, covering the whole casserole. you want to freeze this, I've actually frozen one before, and it was good. I just take aluminum pans, and I'll divide this out into about two different uh, aluminum pans, and I'll put the crumbs on it, and I'll actually put it in the oven and go ahead and bake it, take it out, let it cool, and then cover it with aluminum foil very well, and then wrap it up real good. And if you've got a gallon or two and a half gallon size freezer bag, you can stick that aluminum pan in the bag, seal it real well, and you can freeze it. I think I froze one for up to a month. And I took it out, let it set out overnight in the refrigerator, and then I had it up in the oven for about 20 minutes. And uh, it was really good. You, know, you just have to be careful you know, with what you're doing on it. But yeah, you can freeze it. But folks, that right there is ambrosia. Well, this ambrosia is getting ready to be put in the oven, so let me put this in the oven real quick. I've got my timer set for about 27 minutes because it's set between. 30 and 40. That way I can check it and make sure how much longer it needs. So what we'll do is we'll come back to you in probably about 15-20 minutes. I'll check on it and I'll show you what's going on with it. And then uh, take another little break and come back and let you see what it looks like as it's getting toward the end. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Oh. Alright, I'm back and it looks like we have about five and a half minutes left of the 27 and uh, it probably will be done right at 30 minutes. It's getting to be a nice golden color on top. I'd show you means me, I'd have to move my camera and everything around but I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven and I'm gonna go ahead and let it go ahead and cook it seven minutes to get to the 30 minute mark. And I'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll be back then. All right, we're back. And we got about 10 seconds left to go on this. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the oven. Mmm, smells so good. Well, that's what it looks like right there. I'm not going to tilt it too far, but I'm going to pour it out. And it's a bubble, and I can see that. There we go. Alright. 
Let me get this back on this right here. I don't need it falling off and burning me. There we go. Mm. Right. Ambrosia perfection. It is ambrosia. But we'll have to let it cool for a little bit before we take a bite. So uh, let me let it cool for a minute or two. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you take it out of the dish and let you know what it tastes like. Back a minute. Right, we're back and I'm fixing to dip up a little bit of this right here. Mm, yum, 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 yum. I'm going to give the happy guinea pig a bite to try. Alright, happy guinea pig. Don't stick your thumb in it. Num. I tell you, if you want to make one of these, a really good side to go with this would be green beans, corn. Uh, oh man! He loves this stuff. Let me take a bite real quick. Still hot, but so good. love this stuff. Like I said now, if you, if you like cheeks, and I didn't I mean really like cheese, uh, before you put the crust on, or the crackers, you can put uh, some shredded cheese on top, and anywhere from one half, two cups shredded cheese, and spread it all across the top of it. And then put your crackers on top of that, and that would be called Bapsy's chicken casserole. And little sis, we love you. And just know that uh, I ain't taking nothing away from your chicken casserole, but I love the original that Georgette's gave me here on this. So I would ask, if you would please, subscribe to my channel if you like the videos. And if you like them, give me a thumbs up. You know, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. At least then I'll know if you don't like the video. Either way, we'll know what's going on. Yeah. Leave me a comment. Leave a question. I'll be more than happy to answer questions. Uh, and if you do subscribe, click on that little bell icon and click all so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Now I am going to give you a heads up. Uh, starting in October, because uh, this video should come out about October the 1st, uh, I'm going to be doing Thanksgiving dinner. And it's going to be Thanksgiving on the budget for us because uh, it's going to be with baked tin instead of uh, turkey. So, just the two of us. Yeah, it's just the two of us and the kitty cats and the puppy dog. So, uh, you know, ask me please stay tuned for those and look forward to it. I have a whole meal planned for it. And I do thank you very much for watching, and uh, y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. And if you really like it, give it a share. It'll really help us out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Yeah. We're not